The farm mechanization and conservation agriculture for sustainable intensification for CASI is a project centered on accelerating the adoption of conservation agriculture in East and South Africa regions through the promotion of mechanized conservation agriculture technologies. Fakasi's central component of the communication strategy is the development of a knowledge sharing platform on two WT based technologies. Fakasi is a four year project run from the year 2013 to 2016 and had been under implementation in eight sites in four African countries, namely Ethiopia, Kenya, Tanzania, and Zimbabwe. The project has been implemented through the support of ACIAR and AIFSRC, whereby CIMMYT coordinated the project implementation through its Ethiopia office. In Tanzania, Fakasi project was implemented in Mbulo district of Manyara region and Arumeru district in Arusha region. The project was being conducted through close collaboration between the coordinators, service providers, district mechanization unit, machinery owner, service renders, and the beneficiaries. The objective of the joint venture was to bring about sustainable business models, success, and realize results based on financial linkages, service providers, and local machinery importation, as well as supporting infrastructure around 2WT mechanization for best practices agronomy. Dr. January Mafuru, the Zonal Director of Research and Development, Northern Zone, opened remarks, emphasized the importance of Fakasi in his mandated area and the need of small-scale farmers to go for conservation agriculture in recent years of climate changes that affect agricultural production and productivity. Fakas project, which focuses on conservation of the soils as well as conservation of the moisture, we feel that he is actually contributing so much on the improvement of the productivity of our agriculture system because there is minimum disturbance of the soils and at the same time that means erosion will not be a major issue. Now, as you are aware, in our area, most of mechanization has been undertaken by using tractors or oxen and actually they disturb the soil so much that they enhance uh, soil erosion, but sometimes also water retention becomes a problem. Now with FACAS project, we feel that uh, coming up with a two-wheel tractor, that is a uh, power tiller, and uh, using the minimum tillage uh, facilities. So together, if farmers can access these services, we hope that with conservation agriculture, we can improve our productivity. Dr. John Saria coordinated this project in Tanzania. In his views, he mentioned that FACAS was implemented in three districts, namely Mbulu, Babati, and Meru. To cite as an example, one of the villages called Maweni in Meru district benefited through the project by having service providers to assist other farmers in drudge reduction, carrying crops, just to mention few solutions of the challenges that affected small-scale farmers in the area. We came up with the idea that we have to look to the smaller mechanization that will help uh, farmers plant in, in, in until the land. Now, we started by looking to the, uh, to the attachment or the two-wheel tractor attachment that, that, that will be used for, for, for sowing. Uh, in Tanzania, actually, this implement were, were lacking when the project were, were starting. So we start by identification of the, the, these implements. So we traveled over to, to India to look for these implements. So we got some implements that uh, I mean for the, the cedars I mean that are used that be used by uh, be used to attach the, to the two wheel tractor. Well, in Tanzania, it's commonly known as power tiller. We are testing these is these equipments in conjunction with the farmers' evaluation, so that we can come up with the best bet for the for, for the for these machines. QAM in this project was among the importers of 2WT and other attachments which were sold to farmers. The manager of the QAM Tanzania spoke to the team. 
our relationship with the faculty started last year. We had a project visiting some rural areas, just doing demonstration with our equipment, especially two retractors. And we are proud that those projects was very, very successful. We get a good response from customers, especially from rural areas. We sold about five to ten two retractors. So that was before it was we didn't achieve that success. So we are very appreciative on that project with Farkas. Edward Manan, employee of Dorgo Agro, a local manufacturer company that manufactures different equipment like maize, shellers, choppers, etc., narrated what they are doing in collaboration with Fakasi project. This is what I na Fakasi kwa maana kutengeza mashine za kupungutua mahindi kata majani baada ya kutengeneza bidhaa na bidhaa zetu hizo tulikuwa fakasi ilitumia fursa ya kupeka bidhaa za kuna nini kwa kijiji mfano mbulu arumeru na maeneo mengine ambayo fakasi imefika kuwapelekea teknolojia wana kijiji kwa ajili ya kujikwamua na swala la kilimo Beneficiaries of the project are the small-scale farmers. As the project touched many farmers, one of them testifies how they benefited from Fakasi intervention in their village in Maweni. Kwa kweli mradi huu tumepata mafanikio makubwa sana kwa sababu kwanza wananchi wamefurahia kupata chombo hiki kwa ukaribu. Tofauti na kipindi cha nyuma walikuwa wanafuatilia vijiji vingine kwa mfano kama kwa Ugoro, kwa mfano kama Marurani ndiko walikuwa wanafuatilia chombo cha kuja kupukuchua. Lakini kwa sasa hivi kwa sababu chombo kiko hapa hapa wanapata uraisi kwamba kuliko mazao yake yaharibiwe na mifugo hapo nje baada ya kutoka mashambani anachukua kile chombo mara moja na kwenda kuyapukuchua na kuyahifadhi. Wakina mama wamepata unafuu sana na wanashukuru kwa sababu kwanza wameipushwa gharama zile za kuchukua mazao mashambani wengine na kuyaleta nyumbani. Kwa hiyo mwanamama au mwanababa baada ya kumaliza kuvuna mahindi yake anayakusanya pale pale shambani na akisha kusanya anatoa taarifa chombo kinafata pale pale shambani. Kwa hiyo badala ya kupiga tripu kama nne au tatu kusomba yale mahindi anapiga angalau tripu moja tu kusomba junia zake saba au kumi. Kwa mwaka jana tuliweza kukusanya milioni moja na laki tisa ni mapato ambayo tuliyapata. Katika yale mapato tulitoa pia matumizi kwa sababu chombo hiki kilikuwa kinatumika kuna driver ambaye alikuwa anafanya hiyo kazi kwa driver pia alikuwa na msaidizi wake. Sasa baada ya hapo salio linalobaki linabaki kwa ajili ya faida na kwa ajili ya kuhudumia chombo kwa mfano mafuta, weli na matengenezo. Kwa hiyo sasa mapato tunayopata tulikuwa tunayagawa kwa utaratibu huo. District Extension Authorities were involved in implementation and management of Fakasi and in this regard they gave the impression as follows. Eh tuna mpango ambao upo wa muda mrefu wa kukopesha wakulima e, pawatila hizi pamoja na zana zake. Mpaka sasa hivi tumeshakopesha e, pawatila 15 kwa wakulima. Hapo tena tunakuja kwamba fakasi nayo ime take off na inatusaidia katika mambo ya mafunzo na mambo mengine mbalimbali mbali, ili tuendelee kuwajengea wakulima uwezo. Kwa kupitia pawatila ambayo nimeanza kuitumia tangu mwaka 2010 na nimepata mazao kwa kiwango cha juu zaidi kulingana na nilivyokuwa natumia maksai zamani kilimo chake ni kizuri kwamba unapotifua udongo haichimbi sana chini ile top cover inabaki ambayo ina rutuba na mimea tunapopanda inaota vizuri ninatumia kwa mfano eka moja ni lazima nitumie ilime kwa siku nzima kwa eka moja lakini kwa pawatila nalima eka tano hata hadi sita kwa siku
kwa hiyo utakuta kwamba awali wakulima walikuwa wanavuna e, gunia nane na sasa hivi umefikia wengine umeshafikia hadi magunia 16 e, kwa ekari moja Among the institutions that were involved during implementation was Karmatech Engineer Geoffrey Mwenama can be heard explain the role of the institution in Fakasi business model. Sisi kama taasisi tuliingia kwenye utaalamu wa dhana za kilimo. Kwa hiyo tumehusika sana kwenye kutengeneza baadhi ya mashine lakini pia kuzifanyia majaribio, mashine zilizotoka nje kuona kama zinaweza kuwa nzuri katika mazingira ya kitanzania. Mafanikio ni kwamba wakulima wameweza kuona teknolojia hii na wakulima wameweza kujua kwamba pawatila zinaweza kufanya kazi mbalimbali mbali, kama vile kupanda, kupukuchua mahindi na kazi zinginezo. Tupo kwenye mradi wa fakasi, mradi ambao unaendeleza teknolojia zinazotumia pawatila kama mnavyoweza kuona huko nyuma, pawatila mbalimbali mbali, na teknolojia hizo. Kwa hiyo sisi tupo kwenye mradi huo na tumeweza kwenda sehemu mbalimbali kwa ajili ya ku endeleza teknolojia hizi za kilimo ambazo ni nzuri kabisa kwa wakulima wadogo. Kwa hiyo teknolojia hizi zinatumia pawatila na tunashirikiana na Seliani kituo cha research za kilimo. Kwa hiyo teknolojia hii inaonekana kuwa ni nzuri na inafaa kwa sababu wakulima wetu wengi wanatumia mashamba madogo. Fakasi project achieved a lot in the three districts. Different stakeholders in the business model had different challenges as the one explained by Mathayo Zakaria from QAM Importers Group. But the challenge remains only still the cost is high. So individual, individual customer, it, becomes, it is still remain a challenge to, to maintain the, our prices. Yeah. But uh, slowly the customers understand and they meet our prices kwa kutumia pawatila vijana wengi hawana uzoefu wa kuendesha pawatila na wanaona kama ni kazi ngumu sana kuitumia kuendesha kwa ku, ku, kuendesha kuliko kutumia tractor and to conclude Elisha Palanjo will give you final remarks to donor agents government of Tanzania Sari as a host institution who worked and selected their village to benefit from Fakasi project for three years. Mimi na washukuru sana kwa kuona umuhimu wa ukulima kwa jinsi ambavyo wao walijua kwamba ukulima wana ugumu, una wana matatizo haya, wametusaidia sana. Ni waombe basi kwa shukurani zangu wasitusahau. Waendelee kutukumbuka na kutuletea vyombo vingine zaidi. Alafu pia ni waombe wazikumbuke changamoto zetu ambazo tumezitoa kwao.